Hello, welcome. I'm gonna play Create with Garfield. Well, I say play, but it's not really a game. It's it's creating images. There's no animations. It's just placing various Garfield characters and props on screen to make you know a little image that you can save or print out. So you can see here, created by. Ahead Designs, copyright 1986. I think this may have released in 87 on Commodore 64, which is the version I'm playing, and 86 on Apple II. You may hear the keyboard. This whole game is controlled with the keyboard, so I'm going to be hitting the keys a few times here and there. Mostly using the cursor keys. Garfield, I don't know if he's still popular... He did get a kart racing game, a few kart racing games actually. One not too long ago. So you can see here what you're going to do is select a background, characters, props, captions, and then print or save. But I used to watch the cartoon in the 90s and it's for holiday specials and you know the Sunday newspaper had the comic strip. So what you want to do you start with the background basically start with kind of the back and work your way forward otherwise you know because you got to place objects over objects if you place something in the foreground and then want to put something in the background that overlaps that the background objects gonna block part of it so you just start with the background and then the background props and so there's only a few. There's just a plain white screen, a room, a room with a tape, piece of a table anyway, a line. I believe the line is just a way to make it look like there's a corner to the room, like a vertical line. And then outside you can have a tree or a fence. So I'm going to go with the table. I'd show you everything except the program's fairly slow. So I don't want to, you know, have to keep loading and loading and loading stuff. I don't know what the special artwork is actually. I don't know if you can add your own artwork. I don't have the manual, so I don't know. But here you're. It's not a ton of stuff. There are some props. There's different poses for the main characters, and then there's two friends plus his teddy bear. I should have double checked their names. I think Normal's the gray cat, and I don't recall the name of the other. I'm going to go with props to put some background items in here. chose to do this today while I'm recording and hopefully posting on Thanksgiving. So I was going to try to create like a family scene, a Thanksgiving scene. Fortunately, there's no turkey in here. So we'll just have to make do with what what they have. <laughs> you can see this is it's just taking a while to load all the props. I'm going to put three props but you gotta cycle through all of them to get, you know, to the one you want. There's a few different food dishes. I'm gonna use the pie, but I gotta place other things first. Okay, a window. You can't use the cursors, you don't have to use the letters like it says. That's place. Now I gotta get more props. <laughs> I wanna get one more before the pie. I'm gonna put a picture of Garfield on the wall. I'm gonna put as much in the picture as I can fit. And I'm not gonna print it. But I do still have a Commodore printer and some paper. But I don't really doubt there'd be any ink. I'm sure it's completely dried. You need some kind of old printer ribbon cable. Plus, 
the printer it doesn't do color I don't know if maybe there are color printers that do mine is just like you know dot matrix I don't know how many pictures I printed out I still have one that I printed when I was younger okay I'm gonna use that one Alright, so more prop. I'll cycle through all the props so you can see them before I select the pie. I think that's supposed to be sunrise, but we'll pretend it's sunset. Because the family's getting ready to eat their Thanksgiving pie. John is the only human in the game, though. So no, um, I should have looked up their names, like I said, I can't remember anyone's name, but he, he has brother and his, his grandmother and his parents, none of them are in the game. So you have some large objects we saw earlier, Garfield's bed, flowers, picture that we just used, alarm clock, his name, oh, yeah, there's a bunch of actions. These are separate from the word balloons. I'm not going to use any of these. Okay, go back to the beginning. Let's make sure I don't pass it. There you go. You can see there's steam coming up and it goes in front of the picture. If I were to have put the pie first, then the picture would be blocking where the steam is, it would cut it off. Alright, next add a bunch of characters. Let's start with the friends. There's a little disappointing there aren't animations of any kind. Nice that they at least like move their heads or blinked or something. But you know, this is Commodore 64, but I don't know if the Apple II, and I think this is on PC as well, if the other versions do anything else. I don't think so. I think they're all the same. I don't remember that character's name. Next I'm going to add the gray cat that I think is called Normal. <laughs> Pretty sure that's his, its name. Let me cycle through everything just so you can see it before I choose him. Probably hear me hitting the space bar. Yeah, there aren't too many. It's having all the animals waiting for the pie. Oh no, I, I hit enter. Well, I guess it's okay. I wanted to move him up a sliver. So his tail's kind of hitting the other cap, but... What I don't know is how you, if you can back up or if you have to restart, I guess it'll do, it's not terrible, but yeah, I was trying to hit, the return key's right above the cursor keys and I just hit the wrong one. I guess it's okay, but you can see how when objects are close, you get some color distortion, like above the pink cat, there's some pink on the table leg. 
and then normal's tail's close to the pink cat, so there's some where it's touching or overlapping. I can't quite tell. So it turns it a little, little gray. The John's selections aren't great because here I really wouldn't work on the table because he wouldn't be able to see his legs. Now he sits on the floor or in his chair or in bed. So there's not a lot to choose from. It bothers me when I'm a little off. <laughs> Just a sliver off. One more moving forward, like one notch or move up one notch. But I, I don't know if you can edit very easily. Either you can try, but like if I select the same prop, I wonder if I can move it or if it would just duplicate it. Alright, oh, I didn't mean to do props. I'm sorry. All the loading really kind of slows down the video. I meant to do friends. I was going to see if I could can move him, but I guess if I select the same prop, I can see if it'll do anything. I think it would just give me another one, because I guess if you want to have 10 pies, you could have 10 pies. I don't think there's any other props I want to stick in here, though. The other food doesn't really... Well, I guess I can throw... Odia bone. I don't know if it'll be on the way. I was going to put Odia over there. Like next to John. I'm redoing this scene, actually, this video. I, I have a good idea what I wanted to put because I've already done this once. I don't know, I had problems with the audio I recorded and I didn't want to just re-record re the audio. I just figured, well, I can get a better video maybe. Go with the one of this. This one is tongue hanging out. The difficult part is the word balloons. Positioning those and getting a good size. Garfield, obviously being the star, has the most choices, I believe. The Odie had quite a few. So he has some action ones and kicking I would assume it was probably kick Odie. I'm probably gonna use that one. I don't recall Garfield ever really running. I could be wrong. He wouldn't be sleeping when there's food to be had. Stick them on a wall. He's at the bottom right now. It's right there. Alright, so now we're going to go with the captions. I'm going to put two. I believe 
For one above Garfield, what he's thinking, and then John will be talking. So they give you a bunch to choose from, and you can write your own. That's the one I'm planning on using. I just, I mean, I could have written a new one because I think where the, this little uh, circles are going aren't the correct direction the way I'm going to position it. This will be going over Garfield. I could probably more or less put it there the way it is, but I guess that'll do. Now I'm going to write one. I was having a hard time choosing a size because for the balloon because I'm trying to write this being recorded and hopefully post on Thanksgiving trying to have him say happy Thanksgiving it would have been nice if the game had a turkey but the pie will do so you have the thoughts and the speaking type but the sizes are a little tricky They're either too small or way too big, I feel like, for what I'm trying to say. Like this is too small for Thanksgiving. This is really big. I don't want to cover up too much, so this is the one I'm going to use. You know, it is on the big side, too. Let me start it. In the next line, I guess. Doesn't look as strange, maybe. But Thanksgiving doesn't fit on one line either, I don't think. It wouldn't fit on the second line. Let me see if it fits here. No, it's going to be... Uh, a little short it just goes on so to make it look slightly better just indent it and then hyphenate it see if that'll fit yeah not that easy to type on this keyboard I guess that looks okay. Yeah. Oh, what was that? It, <laughs> I don't know what it just did. It duplicated it. Yeah, that's weird. Um, why did it do that? I'm gonna have to go back. I don't know why it did that bizarre. Um. Hold on. Control. Control's in an odd place. It's not like a. Like a uh, modern keyboard. Yeah, now I gotta redo it. Sorry about that. I had that excl exclamation point, and it just kind of doubled the giving. I think it should be fine. If I didn't put that extra exclamations. I think it looked okay this way. Yeah, it won't indent as far. Just thought it looked a little strange, shorter than the hyphen, but that will do. That 
it's as high as it can go and as far left but it looks probably better there even though it blocks the window you know it adds a, like a white line to the curtains when it's overlapping like that so we will go like that and that would be the completed scene so what you can do is go back to the menu and just view the image There we go. Well, you can't erase. I could try to position normal better. <laughs> Let me see what happens. Oh, no, I erased. Wait. No. Oh, maybe that's something else. Yeah. I should probably just leave it there, so... Oh, you can see the whole image. Now... I'm going to add um, some pre-made images to the end of this video. I'm going to sign off here, but I'll let it keep running with them. Um, the game comes with... I just want to just place it on the picture. I guess it comes with some pre-made pictures. I, I put in my save disk. And I don't think they're images I made. Some of them had copyrights on them. So I think when you create a save disk, it just gives you some examples. So I'm going to cycle those at the end of the video. I'll cut them down, cut off all the loading to make it brief. So you can see what else is in here. So, well, if you're watching this on Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. And thanks for watching.